Hello, I'm Colleen Ballinger, and these are the stories behind my Instagram. Oh god, this is gonna be embarrassing for me, I guess. The story behind this is I got a new piano, and I wanted to take a cute picture of it. I don't know why I thought like, oh, I shouldn't wear pants. I don't know, I hate myself. If you hate me for thinking that not wearing pants and having a quirky face would make me silly and quirky, then I did my job, I guess, but if you just think I'm an idiot, then I agree. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. This it was taken on set for Haters Back Off and they brought a dog to set and I was so excited and so happy. I do remember this sweater had stuff all over it and I had to face tune it all out because I didn't want to reveal any of the costumes for season two before the show came out. Most people when they highly face tune a picture for Instagram, they look gorgeous, but me, I just really terribly face tune words off of my shirt. <laughs> This one says, I'm a classy lady with a peach emoji. Now the peach emoji implies that you have an ass, and I do not. Can I say ass? You can say ass. Ass. This is me on stage at my live show. Um, I apparently thought it would be a good idea to twerk in front of a bunch of children, so good choices. You know those things that they put outside of like car sales or like car washes? Like that's kind of how I dance. You know, the floppy arms. <laughs> This is one of my best friends, and most people when they go on tour, they party and drink and get crazy, but I go to Walmart and buy Moo Moo's, so you can tell what my life is like. When we were at Walmart, we were just looking for like the worst outfit we could, and we found Moo Moo's, and you can't really get worse than a Moo Moo, and then leopard print was the obvious choice of pattern because leopard print, and uh, I think we look really sexy, so. We went to bed at 10 p.m. this night. I hate this. Um, this is the worst. Well, I will say this. Now there's a filter on Instagram where it puts a rainbow on your face, but this was an actual rainbow on my face. I did not edit this ish. And then Instagram came from my brand and now they have a filter where it puts a rainbow on your face. But I started this trend. You heard it here first, so you're welcome. I think I was hiking with my parents and um, they made me pose, but I'm rocking like the side pony like Jojo Siwa. And I was homeschooled, as you can tell by my outfit choice. You, when you have a plaid vest that's attached to your shirt and a plaid skort, you know you're homeschooled. So this is my fat cat, Gus, and this is Doug the Pug, the famous Instagram dog who I love so much. And this picture was so hard to get because my cat was very grumpy and didn't want to be near Doug. And I think Doug could sense that my cat would kill him. So um, this looks like they're cute, but you can tell that Doug is like, get away. <laughs> Um, you would think, looking at this picture, that I'm like high out of my mind or really drunk, but I don't do that. So this is me just probably at 6 p.m. being excited about spaghetti. There we go. I want to look at the comments. It says, Om Tilolet Om. So I agree. My fans love this picture. Oh. Beauty and the Beast has been my favorite movie since I was a little girl. Seeing the premiere tonight was a dream, loved every second. I genuinely did love this. This was a magical night for me. I've always been obsessed with Belle, as you can tell from this picture when I'm like five years old. I was feeling myself this night at this premiere. I was so excited. I was like, I got this cute little dress and it was a size like double zero, like it was super tiny. For some reason, this night after these pictures got posted, all my fans were like, Colleen, it looks like you've been eating a lot more. You look really thick and healthy. And I was like, what? So, thank you, I love my fans. This is me, I think I'm about 10, with my three cats in my bed. This is Peekaboo, this is Spaz, and that's Sweetheart. They were my best friends. And Spaz only liked me, she hated everyone else, and she did everything I did, so when I'd peed in the toilet, I'd get up from the toilet, and then she'd jump on and she'd pee in the toilet. That's love, that's friendship, or that's a crazy person with a cat. The only thing you're here to see, Ariana Grande. I've known Ariana since she was 15 years old, and she's the sweetest girl. She's always been very supportive of me and my family and friends. And this was backstage at one of her shows with my best friend, Corey, and Ariana. And I had to filter it a lot and do a lot of Facetune because when you're next to someone who's as stunning as Ariana Grande, you look like a toe. So it took a lot of work to look not like an ogre 
when I'm next to her. That's why there's not a lot of pictures of me and Ari because I just look really gross when I'm next to her and I have a low self-esteem. Thank you. This experience diving into my old Instagrams has been horrible and made me hate myself. So thank you for letting me do this today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It just made me realize how horrible I am at Instagram themes. I feel like if anyone else did this, it would be like beautiful and mine are like grainy photos that I over facetuned. So it just made me want to like rethink my life choices. And also I want to delete my Instagram. You heard it here first. Thanks for watching.